Hey there, it's Dan from RDP Arena. Today, I'll show you a simple but powerful trick to lock down your RDP server by allowing only your IP address to connect. This means no one else will be able to access it, keeping your server safe from unauthorized users. All right, before we get started, there are a couple of things you need to check. First, confirm that you have admin access to your RDP server. Without admin privileges, you won't be able to make the necessary changes we'll be covering. The second thing to verify is that the IP address of the computer you're using to connect to your RDP server is static. What do I mean by that? Well, a static IP address stays the same each time you connect to the internet. On the flip side, a dynamic IP address can change every time you disconnect and reconnect. Now here's why this matters. If you go through with this hack using a dynamic IP address, you could accidentally lock yourself out of your own RDP server. So, only proceed if you're sure your IP is static. With that being said, let's get started. First, open your local computer's browser and visit whoer.net. Once the page loads, you'll be able to see your computer's IP address. Copy the IP address displayed on the browser. Now on your RDP server, go to the search bar and type in run. Select the run app from the search results to open it. In the run dialog box, type in firewall.cpl and press enter. This will open the Windows firewall settings. Now look at the left-hand side and click on Advanced Settings. This will open the Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security Window. Inside this window, look to the left and click on Inbound Rules. This is where all the rules for incoming connections are listed. Now on the right-hand side, scroll down until you find Remote Desktop, User Mode TCPN. Once you find it, double-click it to open its properties. In the Properties window, go to the Scope tab. Under the Remote IP Address section, select These IP Address. Click the Add button. A new window will appear. In the This IP Address or Subnet field, enter your IP address, the one you copied earlier from whoer.net. Once done, click OK, then hit Apply. Finally, click OK again to save the settings. Some systems may have another rule with the same name, Remote Desktop, User Mode, TCPN. If you see another one, repeat the exact same process for it. The next step is to scroll down the inbound rules list again and look for Remote Desktop, User Mode, UDPN. Double-click it to open the Properties window. In the Properties window, go to the Scope tab. Under the Remote IP Address section, select These IP Address. Click the Add button. A new window will appear. In the This IP Address or Subnet field, enter your IP address, the one you copied earlier from whoer.net. Once done, click OK, then hit Apply. Finally, click OK, again to save the settings. If you see another rule named Remote Desktop, User Mode, UDPN, repeat the same process for it as well. That's it. Your RDP server will now only accept connections from your IP address. 
If someone else tries to connect from a different IP, they'll get an error message like this and won't be able to access your server. In case you ever need to allow a different IP address in the future, just follow these steps again and add the new IP. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell icon for future notifications. In case you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'll do our best to help you out.